welcome to our second lesson on uh, binomial expansion this lesson i am going to demonstrate how you can substitute a variable with a figure so i'm going to teach my objective using a question so suppose you are told to expand this binomial and use it to evaluate that figure and our answer should be to five decimal places so what is the basic the basic thing as i told you write the coefficients so i'll write coefficients my coefficients from the table are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. Those are my coefficients. Okay? Maybe I could write them a bit closer to this side. I put coefficient 1, and then 5, and then 10, and then 10, and then 5. And then one then what is the first term here one so I'll write powers of one one to power five one to power four one to power three one to power two one to power one and one to power zero do you remember V the letter V should help you how you put it like this this decrease increase okay just like the, the the shortest way to recall gradient negative positive so once you have put the powers of the first term in descending order then you take the second term in my example it was positive now see how i handle this this time i put negative 2x so i put powers that relate to negative 2x powers okay of negative 2x see that is how you handle it. Powers of negative 2x. So you see, you put the sign in the middle if it is negative with the second term. So we have negative 2x. This is to power 0. It has to go all the way, increasing now. The arrow I'm using is this. And the arrows remain like that negative 2x to power 1, negative 2x to power 2, negative 2x to power 3, negative 2x to power 4, and negative 2x to power 5. So I want you to note something here. The powers of the first term decrease from highest to lowest. So if in my question it was 1 minus 2x bracket to power 8, then it would have been 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and so on. And remember, when the power is very big, they give you a limit of expansion okay a limit of expansion right so once you have that the next thing we do is product okay we have to get what product product vertically vertical the product vertical 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 and so on so what is our product? 1 times 1 
anything to power 0 is 1. So what do I write here? 1. Now, I told you, if you have a bracket with an even odd power, then I retain the minus. So it will be minus 10x. This is 5 times 1 times 2x. That is what gives me 10x. Can we try this first before we go up? Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I put positive. Then what next? 4 times 10 is 40. So I put my 40. Then x squared. This is negative 2 to power 3. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I put minus this 8 times 10 is 8x cubed. This is even power. Automatically it will be plus. Okay. 16 by 5 is 8x to power 4 and then minus 32x to the power 5. So far, that expansion is correct. Note, if it were fraction, you should be able to go a step further so that you have a simplified version. That's what I want you to do. If the second term was a fraction, if the second term was a fraction, or in short, your expansion should be in the simplest form. Okay? Now, we are told that 1 minus 2x to power 5. We use this expansion to evaluate that. So we equate 0 0.98. You equate the 2. You equate those two, okay, and then work with the work with the inside elements. Work with the inside elements. So which one? I'm going to work with this and that, because their powers are the same. Therefore, one minus two x must equal to zero point nine eight, implying x is equal to 0 0.01. You know, this negative 2x will go this side. Okay? Can I do it for you step by step so that you don't complain? 1 minus 0 0.98 is equal to 2x. Then divide both sides by 2. What do you get? x is equal to 0.01 because this will be 0 0.02 0 0.02 here 0 0.02 if I divide by 2 I get 0 0.01 ok now we go and substitute we are going to get substitution that was the core substitution so i focus my camera down a bit to continue i'll be moving it so we say therefore therefore 0 0.98 to power 5 is equal to 1 minus here 10 substitute 0 0.01 then we go to plus 40. This 40. Substitute 0 0.01 square. Then we go minus 8. 80. This is 8 by that is 80. 
so we say 80 then we have 0 0.01 to power 3 plus and so on remember your answer is to 505 decimal places this is already it will be around 6 so I can handle just up to that point which means I put is equal to 1 minus this becomes 0 0.1 this one already four decimal places okay so multiply by 40 0 0.1234 then this is 6 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 those are already six. So, since it is five decimal places, six decimal places are safe for me. So, I minus 0 0.1234615125123458. Okay? That. So, I am working with the limitation of decimal places in mind. Okay? So, what do I do? If we can focus just a bit here. A camera can focus there, yes. So, you see, I am able to evaluate this. These are four decimal places. These are six. So, with this uh, 10 in 8, it will reduce to 5. With this... 10 in 40, it reduces to that. Okay? That is what we get. So, 0 point that. So, this gives me 0 0.90392. It gives me that. Okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then I'm very safe. Okay? So, this is the core of my lesson. This is the core of my lesson. Substitution here. That is what you need to know. You equate. Okay? We equate. Okay? This is the core of my lesson. Whatever expansion you are supposed to carry out equate to the figure to be evaluated then carry on with the elements the elements inside your brackets find the value of x to be substituted but sometimes they can tell you to substitute to x not x so you must read the question properly. But since I am beginning this lesson, I want you to get where you work, your work is similar to mine. And then you will be able to comprehend the second level. So let us not mix. Let us not mix ideas. I've taught you how to get Pascal Strangle in lesson one. So that if you don't have the table, you can survive. In lesson one also, there is a limitation to expansion. You can be told fourth term, that would mean second term to power three. If I'm told up to fifth term, then another way of asking that is the second term to power four. You must synchronize that language. Today's lesson I've dealt with substitution. This is the core. That whatever you are given to expand must be equated to a figure you have to evaluate. Equate them and then drop with elements. That is, continue with only elements inside the bracket. Then find the value of x or any variable for that matter come back and substitute that value in your simplified expansion 
for you to get the final answer. The final answer has to obey the restriction accompanying it. Goodbye.